writing. And ever since I was a teacher, back with Noah, writing always seems to be a problem. And I think it, it, that's the case, you know, both secondary and in primary, certainly in primary, quite often it's linked to the boys. But it was always, it always seems to be a problem. And I got thinking, well, what is the problem? Why, why is it such a problem? And for me, it's because we don't actually ask our clients, we don't ask the children, we don't ask the students. And I suspect if we ask them, these are the sort of things they'd say. Why bother? <coughs> you know, it's boring. Who reads it? You know, won't do it later in life. Apart from your teaching commitments, when was the last time any of you did any writing? If you're female, it's likely to be a shopping list, but not much more. So I think the, the youngsters are actually right in what they're saying. Along comes <coughs> blogging. Hands up those of you who have class blogs. Excellent. Hands up those of you who are thinking about getting class blogs or school blogs. Excellent. Hands up those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about. Excellent. Well done. Um, logging is a fairly recent phenomenon, although those of us that were involved in it think the whole world is after it. And it really is very, very simple. A blog is a web blog, so it's like an online diary. And lots of classes now are getting their own blogs for children to actually post all their work. Instead of using it in an exercise book, they put it on the blog, and it means that people can come along and comment. And that's what happens with kind of work. I use three prompts. What happens is I set a prompt in between and the children then, children or students then have 100 words to produce a creative piece of writing. One sort of prompt that I use are sentence prompts. There's some examples up there. You'll notice that there's no capital letters. As soon as you put a capital letter in, you're telling the young writer that they have to put that at the beginning of the sentence. And I guarantee if I put a capital letter on the prompt, they would all start that piece of writing with that prompt. And we don't want to do that. The idea of 100 words is all about creativity. Next sort of prompts are picture prompts. Young writers love to write about blood and gore, particularly primary. I love to write about blood and gore. Couldn't stop them. So I decided to try and give them images that would really spark their imagination. And so I try and give them photos of things that I've seen that have sparked my interest. Excuse me. Animal. And the final sort of prompts are individual words. These have all got capital letters. They can be put anywhere in their writing and in any order. Uh, youngsters quite like these. As a writer myself, I find these quite difficult, but they quite like those. Okay, so a little bit of information. That is where you find it, 100wc.net, very easy to remember, toilets and fish, 100wc.net, and in the first 34 weeks, that sounds great to me, the first 34 weeks of this academic year, there were 90, over 19,000 entries, over 19,000 hundred word pieces put on to the blog. These generated 214, over 214,000 clicks. For those of you who are um, familiar with blogging, if somebody visits your space, that produces a click, that produces an interaction. And since, in the, as I say, work week 34, since week, up to week 34, there were over 214,000 interactions with young people's writing from other people in the world, not just in this country. So it has an amazing impact on audience. 100 Word Challenge is all about providing the audience that is more than just you, the teacher, and you, the lecturer, standing in front of them. At the moment, there are over 86 countries and territories who have shown an interest. There is a Welsh version don't ask me what it says. I send it off, somebody translates it, I cut and paste. Other people writing in Welsh comment. Um, and it seems to work. And over the holiday, I've been asked to see if I could do one in French and Spanish. So any of our secondary colleagues, um, modern languages, if you think you might be interested in that, then do grab me. I've got some leaflets and cards. Okay. If you want to take part, it is very simple, I'm going to whiz through these. You go to 
www.hundredwc.net and this is the page you will receive. You scroll down the page until you find the prompt. In this case, the prompt is what is that? And for those of you that are familiar with blogs and this sort of approach, this list, these lists here, are actually hyperlinks. If we were able, if we were actually connected to the internet here, if I clicked on any of those, they would take you to that young person's specific piece of writing where we could read it and leave a comment. If you've got a piece of writing that one of your youngsters has done and you've posted it on your class blog, don't worry, I will come back to those of you that haven't got a blog yet. They've posted it on their class blog. You then come to click here to enter. That will take you to a, a page of magic, which is Mr. Lincoln's <coughs> page, where you have two boxes to complete. The top box asks for a name, and in there you put the Christian name or nickname, not both Christian and surname, we need to keep them safe. You put the child, student, year group, because the team that comments does like to have some idea of how wowy this piece of writing is. Name of the school and location. Location is really important because I produce a showcase every week and the team of my, my volunteer team, which I'll tell you about in a moment, send me recommendations for posts. And I then put the name of the child and the name of the school and its location in the showcase. And if you happen to go to St Andrews, I don't think, I don't think St Mary's is as bad, but there are thousands of St Andrews schools in the world, and it takes me ages trawling through my database to try and find out which one it is. So you put the child's name, year group, age, name of school, and location in that top box. And then the second box is for the post URL. For those that don't know about blogging, are a bit confused about the website, it is the top box. At the moment, the URL on the thing we're looking at would be www.linkytools.com, etc. And you would just copy and paste that in that box. And then you go to the bottom where it says enter your link, click, and that will miraculously take that back to pop it into that page that we were at just now. So what's all this got to do with writing and with blogging? How do the two link together? They're linked together via this quote. The unread story is not a story. It is a little black mark on wood pulp. The reader reading it makes it live, a live thing, a story. When I read that, I was really blown away because I've never actually thought about it before. You know, unless you are one of those writers that only writes to themselves and locks your diary away every, every day. For our youngsters, what they want is for people to read their writing. They want their, their audience to engage with them. And by engaging, you actually make their writing better. Because if you've engaged with them, if you have to comment, they actually want to do it again. And if they want to do it again, they want to do it better. So it is all about the audience, which is why I would recommend, if you can get yourself a class blog up and running, it's this audience. It doesn't have to be writing. They can put up science experiments, they can put up history what they did in PE, but it's about engaging with that wider audience. <coughs> These are some comments, you won't, I don't leave them too long because we haven't got a lot of time. I was hoping that Cherise would be here. These are comments from um, a class uh, who are staunch supporters of Hundred Word, but you can see that getting comments is what it is all about. And some children, I've had comments coming to the end of the year, so a lot of teachers have been very gracious in letting me know the effect and the impact that Hundred Word has had. And it has been phenomenal in some cases, apparently. Youngsters who really don't like writing have had a go. Um, who's over that? Because that was um, an audio. Okay, I keep mentioning the audience. I have a wonderful group of people, most of whom I've never met, called Team 100. They follow a set of guidelines every week. 
um, and a set of numbers, and between us we try and leave a comment for every child. My aspiration is, it still is, to get three or four comments from each, from a, a, a member of the team. And that was really good when we only had 150 and when there were 20 of us. Now we're getting, I'm getting between 750 and 800 entries per week. And so it is really, really difficult. So this is where you secondaries, which is most of you, uh, I want you to consider this. I do have some students in years 11 and 12 who are members of Team 100. And they are excellent at producing these wonderful comments that really inspire their young writers. I also have teams of secondary students who write and they produce wonderful models for um, the younger writers. But as far as the, uh, as far as the team is concerned, um, it looks great on UCAS forms. I've been told by universities that that sort of thing really does very, very well. Universities obviously are connected with home well. So it's something for you if you're not the sort of, um, if you don't want to be asked blog, you don't actually want to get your answers if you're, oh, I was going to say geography, but there's lots of wonderful writings of geography. PE, if you're not an English specialist, uh, but are a tutor, this is fantastic because they can do it in tutor time. They don't need to sit in an IT suite because they can do it on their phones. Um, so it is. So I really do um, implore you: if you're not able to join the challenge, then do think about getting your students involved. <coughs> okay. What's in it for you? So if we go back and we're going to create a blog. For those of you that haven't got a class blog, but know you have some students who would really like to write, get in touch. I have a blog that I've created just for that purpose, so you don't have to make your own blog. Just get them writing and get in touch. Uh, it does build blog traffic quickly if you're going to um, go on the blog trail. Great for homework. You just point them to 100wc.net and it's there. No um, but you can actually look through the comments and see what the readers thought of it to gauge for your assessment. It's only a hundred words has become my mantra. I didn't set out to do any of this. This all happened because I set up a blog and I wanted some traffic, actually, if I'm honest. Uh, but it has become an incredibly powerful phrase. Those of you who have youngsters um, who do write, or even those of you that don't. If you think about a group of um, students, think about the lower end, those that really struggle, those that haven't got a lot of motivation. You say, we're going to do some writing. Uh, and you say, well, it's only a hundred words. Even you can manage hundred words, it's not even a and for, certainly for primary colleagues, this has meant you know, a huge sea change for some of their writers. If you think about the, the higher ability, those in um, particularly any year six or GCSE groups you've got here, they are the ones that write pages and pages and pages. You say, ah, oh, yes, but it's only a hundred words. <coughs> you can't write those pages. And actually, it takes more skill to reduce pages to a hundred words than possibly to actually write a hundred words itself. Okay, this is back to this again, you can see. On that, if you take a note of that um, website, there is a post that I've put up for you with all the links that you need. There are links to some fantastic class blogs. I apologise, I haven't got any secondary. Most of the blogs have been recommended to me. If you can recommend some, I will add it to the list. Uh, it will also give you some ideas of starting a blog, writing, and really moving the children on. I've brought some leaflets with me and some cards in the meeting touch, but don't forget, it is only a hundred words and you can all manage it. <coughs>